Hey everyone, so um, this is going to be a contest entry for Clothing Expert 101 and oh gosh, it's Tasha, I believe, I am not sure, um, contest. And their names will be up here and don't worry, I subscribe to both of you guys. Um, and this is the look, I really, really like it. This kind of reminds me of, I don't know her name, Fathanatics X3. She did a, a look and I don't know why. But this, after I did the look, I looked at her video and I remember one of them and it kind of looks like it. So, this is it. It's just a really, really nice brown and, um, I was about to say banana. Yeah, the look. So, I'm going to get started with the tutorial and all these products are 100% affordable. So, yeah. So, first let's start with the base and a lot of people have this. It's NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. And this is just going to give a nice opaque base. And I almost forgot my look is inspired by a sunflower because um, in the flower theme. I'll put a link to that in the down bar, so to the picture that I had. I'm gonna put this all over my lid up to my brow bone, and my mirror is that way. So when I'm uh, when I apply it, and when I'm done applying it, I will definitely show you guys. I'm kind of gonna look a little bit weird, but whatever. Okay, this is what it looks like. So you don't put that much. It kind of looks like a lot on camera, but it's. Not, I mean, the camera doesn't lie, but like, since because it's so opaque, it looks like I put a lot of layers on, but it don't worry, I didn't. You could blend downward or upward, <laughs> upward, whatever you want. Okay, it's not gonna be fully blended, but um, you could definitely well, now it's fully blended, but if it isn't, then you can just put eyeshadows on top. So after that, we're going to use, I'm looking down my palette, my Coastal Sense 88 Shimmer Palette. Where's the yeah, 88 Ultra Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette? It broke off, whatever. And we're going to be taking the second row. The second row just has some, what's it called, yellows in it. So I'm going to be taking the first yellow, which is the, I wouldn't say, well, I guess the lightest yellow in the palette. So I'm going to take that with my... Elf eyeshadow brush, professional eyeshadow brush. And this we're just going to take towel to the acne on your hand all over our lid to give us a nice bright look. I'm going to try not to spend so much time talking a little bit more. And always bring the color into your tear duct because you want your eyes to look very awake as you do this. Okay, now I'm going to see the color, the yellow right below it, which is more of a brighter yellow. Just like that. And I'm just going to take this with a brush. Just tap it with your hand. And I didn't blow the brush, I blew the eyeshadow that was on my hand. And I'm going to put this on the inner third of my lid. Because we're going to be using a really, really bright, bright pigment, eyeshadow pigment. And you want that to go on the rest of your lid so it can be really bright. But for now, we're just going to put this in the inner half. Put some more and sunflowers. I don't know if they're my favorite flower, but they're definitely one of my favorites. So, yeah. Now, the next really opaque yellow eyeshadow we're gonna take is from NYX. These are called Ultra Pearl Mania eyeshadows, they're kind of pigments. And this is in yellow pearl, so I'm gonna take what's ever in the whatever is in the cap. I'm just gonna kind of swirl my brush into there. <laughs> And a lot of eyeshadow was on it. And I'm just going to tap with the excess into the cap. Because you don't want to do it on your hand because you're just going to waste a lot of product since there is a lot of product in the brush. So I'm just going to pat this on the rest of my lid. Do a patting motion so the actual color can show. Okay. The next color that we're going to take is just a really, really, we're going to take two browns. And the brush that I'm going to be using is my Kirkland eyeshadow brush from Costco. And also, the first step you're going to want to do is make sure that you comb your eyebrows. So, um, in whatever way you do, I like to go up, and then I like to kind of go down. And that's just going to make the look more prettier, I guess. Um, in the shimmer palette, we're going to take the second last row which are these browns over here. And I'm going to take this brown over here, 
right there. And I'm just going to kind of go like this, just kind of swirl it in there. And this is just going to be in the outer V or in the outer part of our lid. So I'm just going to focus it right here. You're not going to go in the crease, just kind of the outer V, I guess. This is going to put some depth into the, just kind of some depth to add to the yellow. Okay, so after that, we're going to take, I just nicked an eyeshadow. Whatever. Ew, it looks like it's dirt under my finger because of the eyeshadow. Anyway, I'm going to take this color over here, the last color, and this is just kind of, I guess, the darkest brown I guess there is. And I'm going to really swirl that in there because we really want this to be dark. Tap off the axis and we're just going to pop this in our crease. This is going to go a very above the crease. And that's what you want because you kind of want this look to be dramatic. So take it above. You see how where I took it above? I took it above, like, you see the bead mark that I have there? I took it right above there. So I'm going to take it right above about here. And it's kind of going to look weird at first, but when you really look at it, it's really, really pretty. Then I'm going to take a blending brush, and this is from A Sense of Beauty, and this is called a Smoky Wide Brush. I have to hurry up on this. And I'm just going to blend this in. For a highlight color, I'm going to take NYX Eyeshadow Trio, and I believe they don't have these anymore. Cock them on it. But you can check cherryculture.com, and they're probably going to have them. This color, because you don't want a shimmery highlight because you don't want to look like a shimmery clown so because the look already has some shimmer in it okay now I'm going to use some gel liner and this is just a wet n wild gel liner in black and I'm going to take the brush that comes with it I'm going to do a thin line I'll just take this and look this way and just do small strokes small but quick strokes and you could do a little wing that's kind of what I did in the on the other eye this one is a little more thick than the other one that's all right I'll kind of see the difference kind of a little more thick I'm gonna take my Kirkland eyelash curler and just going to curl my lashes Hold there for a few seconds, and now I'm going to take my Lash Blast in a very black. This is waterproof. And this I would really love to wear because I really want to get a kind of yellow or kind of brown top and wear this look because it's very, very wearable, especially for every day. I'm taking my Equal Tools Eyelash and Eyebrow Groomer. I'm take the eyelash, a little comb, kind of do that. And lastly is blush, and I'm going to take my MAC. Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush in Trace Gold, and this is just a really, really nice shimmery blush. So this is going to give some shimmer to the look. Smile, I'm going to put some apples over cheeks to our hairline. And for lips, I just put on my MAC Plush Glass in Foolishly Fab. You can kind of see that. Foolishly Fab. And I'm just going to put some more on for you guys. Just a really nice purple. Because it's summer and you want the look to be colorful. So that is my whole look. I'll give you a little close-up. Hopefully you guys can see. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I hope that I win. Four winners. I hope I'm one of them. So, thank you, Clothing Expert 101, and oh gosh, it's Tasha, I think, I'll say that for now, for doing this contest because it is very, very fun. So, and I really, really enjoy doing this video for you guys. So, um, hopefully I win, and have a great day, and good luck to all the other contest, you know, people that are also doing this video, this kind of video. So, I'll see you guys later, and have a great day. Alright, guys, bye.